So we're going to take a look at the anterior forearm. A lot of people can get a little mixed up about the anterior forearm muscles. Uh, actually, just any forearm muscles because there's so many. But as long as you remain with the, with orientated with certain landmarks, then you're going to be just fine. First and foremost, let's take a look at the anterior compartment being essentially the flexor compartment of the forearm. What you'll find is our borders to dis delineate between flexor and extensor is going to be, the first one is going to be the ulna, as you can see, the bone. So anything towards the palmar side is going to be flexor, anything on the post this other side is going to be extensor. And then this other one, the brachial radialis, you'll notice that all of a sudden it jumps across. This antecubital fossa, in order to jump the gap, you have to go on to the other side, you have to be on the extensor compartment. So if we're going to just go in order, we're going to start with the ulna, and then we're going to go right to this first muscle. This first muscle would be the ex flexor, because this is the flexor side, flexor, carpi, ulnaris. So flexes inserts on the carpi on the ulnar side. So flexor, carpi, ulnaris. If we move next to this, right here, you'll find a muscle that goes straight up directly into the palm. This is the palmaris longus. Nicely apt term. Actually, some people don't have it because they just, they just don't. So this is genetically palmaris longus. And then here's the next one. Palmaris longus is bordered by the flexor carpi radialis. Notice it looks the same, nah, kind of, but on the radial side, flexes, on a, inserts on a carpal, and on the radial side. So flexor carpi radialis, palmaris longus, flexor carpi ulnaris. We keep moving on, but you'll notice a nice jump. We have this muscle that jumps down and then inserts on the radius. It doesn't go down to the wrist, so we can't call it a flexor because it doesn't flex the wrist. It's called a pronator. So it's a pronator and teres, so round pronator teres. And this is like on the superficial layer. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to finish up the superficial layer by looking at this muscle. If I take this away, you'll notice a larger muscle, broad spectrum muscle that goes all the way up and inserts on multiple digits. This is called the flexor digitorum. But we, there's another flexor digitorum later, so we have to actually add an extra name. We call it the flexor digitorum superficialis, as in the superficial layer. So let's go over the superficial layer of the uh, review, the superficial layer of the form, starting from the ulna, flexor carpi ulnaris, to the palmaris longus, to the flexor carpi radialis, to the pronator teres, and directly underneath that would be the flexor digitorum superficialis. Once we step to the deep muscles, there's three of them, two of them of which we can see. But if I pull this aside, what you'll find is two muscles, one that looks kind of like a feather found on the thumb side. Uh, this is the flexor pollicis longus. By its name, flexes the pollicis or the thumb, and it's longer. There's going to be a short, uh, brevis in the hand. But this is flexor pollicis longus. And then right next to it is one that has multiple tendons. This is where we found our flexor digitorum. Again, but now we have to change the name to profundus, as in profound, a deep deep or deep thoughts, you know, profound thoughts are deep. So we have the flexor digitorum profundus. So flexor pol pollicis longus, flexor digitorum profundus. The um, last muscle that we can't actually see, I wish I could remove this and then show you a little wristband muscle called the pronator quadratus. Pronator because it pronates, quadratus because it's square shaped. But those are the muscles of the anterior form. Let's review. So we have starting all the way at the beginning from the ulna. Flexor carpi ulnaris to the palmaris longus going into the palm. Flexor carpi radialis, pronator teres. Immediately deep to that is the flexor digitorum superficialis. Immediately deep to that, flexor pollicis longus and the flexor digitorum superficialis, which is the rest of all this muscle bellies that's not in this oblique kind of fashion. And then directly underneath this would have been the pronator quadratus.